guys, welcome back to Minutewatch. Kurt here, and this is the Seiko SRP B89, part of Seiko 5, uh, Seiko 5 Sports new line. And uh, today we're gonna put a bunch of new straps on it. Um, I, I, I didn't really like this watch to begin with. The brace that it came with made it feel a little bit clunky for my taste. It wore kind of big, especially for my 6.5 inch wrist. But once I put it on some straps, uh, especially a certain few, I really started liking this watch and I think it, it's okay for a smaller wrist as long as you put the right strap on it. So yeah, so let's get it going. All right, we got a brown leather-ish strap from uh, Deloy. I think uh, I think a lot of companies might make these. Um, this is the only brown colored strap I had in 22 millimeters that suited this watch. I actually would have preferred to use a different brand, but Oh, it's it's okay. I think it's all right. And by the way, if you haven't noticed, the backdrop is a little different. I gotta straighten out the camera. My OCD is there. There you go. See the lines? I have to make it straight with the camera. But yeah, if you notice, the black backdrop is not here. I'm trying something different. This is underneath the black backdrop. This is 100% genuine fake wood. And uh, I don't know. I'm trying something different. Let me know if in the comments section below if you guys rather see this black, uh, this this fake woody thing, or the the ugly back. Uh, black backdrop. I need to get something better and nicer, uh, like our actual table. Anyway, this uh, this 22 millimeter strap is um, it's by Deloitte and it's got the square bunk buckle. Let's put it on my wrist, and that's a very important part of this situation to put it on the wrist, the wrist shot, the wrist shot of justice. By the way, guys, let me show you a video real quick after this. Uh, hit a hit a little milestone with my fitness thing. And then yeah, so so yeah, big watch, real big. Uh, you can uh, make it. It's like it's like a pizza pan on my wrist. You put a whole pizza on it, put the put the pizza on it, cut it up, serve it. But uh, not too bad, not too bad. Uh, a dark brown you can never go wrong with most watches. Anyway, that's that strap. All right, here we go, guys. This is the blue stitched. Sail cloth from our good buddy Mr. Sail cloth or in or in Mother Russia uh, uh, Comrade Sail cloth, but uh, don't 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 quote me on that. Don't say that. That's that's a little bit uh, stupid, but <laughs> well, I think it looks good. Look at this. This looks good. I'm gonna zoomy zoom just a little bit and uh, get get there. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, mm, mm, wait. Oh yeah. Stay tuned for the end shots, guys. Uh, they should be pretty nice. And uh, that is the blue stitch sailcloth strap from Mr. Sailcloth. All these straps will be in the links below for your linking pleasure. And by the way, uh, real real quick mad props to Mr. Uh, John Wong who got me some new lights uh, from my wish list. I didn't think anybody would actually do that, but super, thank you. Uh, no more baking under the halogen lights. It's so nice and cool now. Um, appreciate it so much but there you go boom again on my my tiny little wrist got that blue stitching that's showing up on the sides just a tiny little bit of a dingleberry not too bad but yeah look at that that is real nice love this strap and uh, it this this allows me to go fitnessing because I don't have to worry about getting all sweaty and stuff and uh, yeah that's the blue silk cloth strap from Mr. Stilkoff woo 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 oh baby check this out this is the black scale strap from timestraps timestrap.co.uk and um, uh, I think uh, I think you can get these from a, a number of sellers but I like I like that guy he's nice and uh, I get them from him so this is a very different look the strap itself isn't like super black let me just zoom a bit here guys let me just zoom it's not like a super black strap there are there, there are these there are these mid-tones, there's tan, very subtle tan mid-tones in there. I really like that. It's very, it's very scaly. It offers something completely different, and I really like that. Stay tuned for the end shots. By the way, guys, uh, before I put on my wrist, uh, check this out. This is, a, uh, this is me doing a leg press, the, 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 the seated leg press. And when I started going to the gym, I could barely do like 140 pounds. I'm a weak guy, but as you can see... Uh, maxed out the machine <laughs> I'm only doing it at 90 degrees though so uh, I'm gonna start doing it at 92 degrees and uh, shouldn't be too hard but yeah I'm getting strong I'm getting real strong and uh, oh I just almost did Uncle Jimmy <laughs> uh, yeah. there you go I like this 
I like this. I like it a lot. Yeah, th yes, the watch again is a giant pizza pan, but uh, I don't care. I like it. It works for me. Plus, in my vision, it's much smaller than in this in this uh, camera's kind of distorted view. But it, it does look a little bit smaller. But it looks really nice. I like it. I like it a lot. And uh, again, time strap, black scale strap. <laughs> All right, guys, check this out. This is again the same uh, same strap series from Time Strap, uh, but in the blue, and it looks magnificent. The blue is a little bit more has a little bit more of a reddish tinge than the, this watch's guts and well, not guts, but this watch's bits. But it still does look remarkably clean, in my opinion. Real nice, and uh, look at that focus.com yeah look at that that is real nice I think the the, the new backdrop that I'm trying to fit, uh, do it does actually make these reviews look a little bit nicer let me know guys let me know if you like this this weird fake hundred percent real fake uh, wood thing in the background I might actually uh, think about getting like an actual nice piece of wood finishing it and doing something with that but anyway real nice strap and I, I like it I like this a lot uh, these are not quick release, by the way. None of the straps that I've shown so far are quick, uh, quick, uh, cr uh, uh, easy release. Um, and I would really like to see that on these these straps. That would make them so much better. But yeah, let's put it on my wrist here. Let's zoom back up. Put it on my wrist. A little bit of a shaky, shaky. And uh, yeah, so these these straps are a little bit stiff. Uh, and I I would probably, if I were you guys, I'd probably put them on a, a deployment. But uh, I'm not going to do that. Look at that. Yeah, this strap hasn't fully broken in yet. I haven't worn, worn it enough. Worn. Worn. I haven't worn it enough. Oh my good. But um, I think it's really, really nice. I like it. I like it a lot. And what do you guys think about it? Uh, speaking of this, this company, uh, it takes a while for these straps to get to you if you order them. So don't start freaking out if you, you don't see anything. It took me about three weeks to get this one. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and you're going to see... Uh, these two straps, not these ones, but the same exact ones on Aaron's channel, OFD, the OFD Watch channel. Check him out right here. Please subscribe to this guy's channel. He's a real cool, real nice guy. We may get into trouble uh, in the, uh, together in the near nearest future. We might go do some crazy stuff. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, yeah, that's this watch and this strap. Okie dokie. Here we go. We got now the the. Uh, Alpha Shark Luxury Nado from Blue Shark Straps, and this is this is a sweet combo in my opinion. I was going to use the Royal Blue, but I figure, and eh, we got we got the too many Royal Blues. Plus, my last video with the summer, I had the Royal Blue, but I want I want to show off this Bond strap, and I think it looks magnificent. It looks real good. Let me just uh, scroll up in here, and yeah, oh, this camera is the business, isn't it? I love this camera. So there you go. Check it out, the Bond Luxury Nado. Excuse me, on my SRP B89. Uh, Rooks looks good. Rooks. Uh, I cannot words today. I'm having a hard time to words, but uh, we'll just chug along. I'm gonna put it on the wrist. I'm gonna put it out of the shot real quick because it requires a little bit of effort on my part because I don't know how to NATO very well. I'm just gonna slide it through the hole. That's what she said. And uh, I'm gonna put it there. And uh, nope. Come on. And there we go. Big old NATO, big old watch. Super tough, not going anywhere ever on my little wrist. So there you go. That is the Blue Shark Alpha Shark Luxury NATO Bond Strap on this watch. This is the Hadley Roma MS834, one of my favorite straps because I just like it. It has a good finish. Uh, it's not too shiny, but not too dull. It lasts a f pretty good long time. It's pretty inexpensive and uh, looks really good. Let me just zoom, zoom here. Focus.com. There you go. So as you can see, it's not too shiny, not too sweet, not too rancid, but just right. And uh, this it gives this watch a really nice look, in my opinion. I think it looks pretty good. I think uh, I think black and blue uh, looks really good together. The bruiser. Yeah, look at that. Put it on my wrist. I can't wait for these watches to have uh, inserts made for them. Glowy inserts. I would really like a glowy insert. 
Although, but I do like that blue though. Oh yeah, that looks good. Huh? That looks real good. Mm -mm -mm. By the way, for some of you might wondering, you wear your straps too tight. No, it's just that I have this muscle right here that protrudes out when I when I turn my wrist. See, like right there, that's not that bad. But when I turn my wrist and I turn my hand, that muscle just starts popping up because I'm strong as. F but um, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not. But anyway, that's the uh, Hadley Roma MSM or MS A34. It's weird because that's both of their numbers. Anyway, okay, guys, I saved the breast for last uh, because it's weird. I like the weirdness of this combination. This is Barton's Elite Silicone Band in the tan top and black bottom, and I think this is great. I love this combo because it's just weird, and. Uh, I think it works very well in my opinion. There's a little bit of dust right there that drives me crazy. There you go. It works well in my opinion. What do you guys think about this combination? I really, really like it. I do have their their um, Navy version of this strap, but it just didn't feel right. It just didn't feel good with this watch. But this one, this one feels good. And this is the one I wear the most. To be honest, on this watch, I wear this the most because it's comfortable. I don't got to worry about getting it all dirty because I do take this watch to go, going fitness thing and a lot and uh, it just it just works so I'm gonna put it on my wrist real quick right here and uh, I, I really need to get uh, more more 22 millimeter colors I need canvas straps for my 22 millimeter watches but uh, I'll, I'll do that later but yeah look at that that looks good I think that looks good you some of you might not like this combination some of you might think it's stupid but I really like it all these straps will be in the links below because I do want you guys to click on them and buy them and make me 25 cents uh, because that's what I do. <laughs> anyway, that's this Barton Elite Silicone, tan on top, black on bottom. Awesome strap. All right, we're back with the boys and they're going to talk about the straps. What do you guys think about these straps? Hey guys, how's it going? Hey, it's good. Hey, what's up? So, you guys watched me do the video, right? Yep. So, which, uh, which uh, straps do you guys think uh, is the best? I don't know. I, I think uh, I think I like the steel claw strap. That one's pretty cool. And then I think I like the I think I like the, the tan one. I like the black one. I like the black one and the blue one and the other brown one and then that that, that 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 other one. They all pretty cool. I think they all they all terrible. They're all terrible. I don't know. I don't. I don't care. You know what? I want to address the situation that we had in the last video. Um, I did I did not crap my pants in the video. I I I I I, I legit had a pizza in the oven. And I didn't. I had to go get it. You said it was a casserole. You you you, you, you let your thumb. You, Kurt, you let your thumb. You let your thumb be seen over there. I know. I know. I'm, I know. Never mind that. Yeah. Yeah. You said. You said you had a casserole in the oven. I, I I meant. I meant casserole. It's a casserole pizza. It's a pizza roll. It's a, pas a, ca a pizza roll. A casserole. A casserizza. It's a pizza roll. It's, it's what it was. Yeah. Yeah. You you did crap your pants. I did. I did. You know sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes when you have uh, sometimes when you have uh, something brewing, you just can't fight that feeling. You can't fight that feeling. You can't fight that feeling. And even as I wonder, I'm keeping you in sight. You're a candle in the window on a cold winter's night. And I'm getting closer than now. Can't fight this feeling Alright, alright, I break it up, break it up, guys. Guys, did you <laughs> Oh, oh, oh I thought I wanted you to play the whole thing. You guys create that whole situation just so you could show your karaoke stuff. Yep. Yeah, pretty much. Well <laughs> and do that do that on your own stuff. But uh that was pretty cool. Anyway, <laughs> guys, uh really appreciate you watching my stuff. Please subscribe, please like whatever's all that good stuff. And uh uh, Uncle Jimmy, send us out. Okay, uh, yeah, uh, may your peanut be happy, and thanks for watching. Pshh.